Hi, everybody. I'm going to walk you today through Downward Facing Dog. There are so many actions in this pose that it's worth giving uh, an entire video to its importance. So, I want us to get on the mat. If you're ready to practice, then let's do it. All right, so first I'm just going to come down to my knees for a moment and we'll talk about the hand position. So when you start to get into downward facing dog from say forward fold or something like that, we're talking about where to place the hands. The hands are going to be shoulder width apart, basically straight from the joints. We're going to think about the fingers. The index fingers are going to be pointing straight ahead, so that doesn't mean that we'll have them straight, we'll have them slightly turned. So as we slightly turn, we're going to go up the arm, fully extended in the arm. We're going to talk about the shoulders. The shoulders are going to, the arms are going to take an external rotation. That's going to be your consciousness, thinking about that. We're going to lock the shoulder into the joint. This is the shoulder girdle. So once we're here, we have a great foundation to hold the body up. So let's place the hands, shoulder width apart, fully extend in the arms, turn, turn that shoulder. You can see it locking in. Now we're going to place the feet also in line with the hands and then we're going to lift the hips. So as we take the hips up, let's talk about that. In the legs, if you're too tight today in your hamstrings, calves, whatever, anything on the back, then it's okay to bend the knees, the heels, we want them to go to the floor. If you can straighten your knees, then we want to lift them with the quads. Think about pressing the backs of the knees to the ceiling. And then at the end, we're going to press the chest. And as you get more open and strong in your shoulders, you can take the, the head and relax can press the chest a little bit deeper, the more flexible you get. So let's talk about the pelvis in this pose. For me, I've had to learn not to bend the pelvis forward, so we want to take it to be more neutral. That lengthens the spine. That's what we want to do in down dog. Lengthen the spine. We're also, I'm sliding up. We are also strengthening the arms, the shoulders, the legs, stretching all these things. All these actions. Sometimes it can take a couple of minutes to think of all of them. And a couple of minutes is a great length of time to hold your down dog. So if you're not there yet, that's okay. I know that uh, wrist um, pain can be a thing when you first begin yoga. So take time to stretch the wrists. You know, in yoga, we talk a lot. I just spoke about hand placement, spreading fingers, the feet. These are our foundational uh, parts of our bodies. In daily life, we don't think about them until they hurt. So let's take care. Yoga helps you to take care of your feet, your hands, your wrists. So I hope this has been helpful. And I hope you'll practice and learn to master your downward facing dog. Thank you for watching and namaste.